us. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Baltimore. Next. All right, just baseball. Corbin Burns. Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix, so for him. Hitters, it's going to be a ready to go and stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. And a pitch that's in for a strike at 92. Right through there for. This is a good time for something. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Now at the plate. Swing and a foul over the screen and back. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. That's inside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And another ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. One down. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning. They're definitely looking to do some more damage. The pitch. Ball one. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Dylan Tate getting loose out there. Bauman also throwing. One out, base is empty. And a pitch. Uh -huh. Swings it. Two out. He's really good. Two out. Space is empty. At the play, Isaac Perez. Burns, 29 years old, is drafted in the fourth round. 
back in 2016. It's two and one. Two outs. Next Ball offering three. misses down and away. Oh, and now the count is full. Okay. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. The Rays kick off the score with a solo bomb. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. And on the mound for Tampa Bay in this one. Zach Eflin, keep an eye out here. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time. Third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That's a strike. swing so that's one of those knocks that feels to get some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion here's Adley Rutschman swings and misses no strike one strike. this might be a steal situation but that's not your average catcher behind the a one run lead and the home team trying to pull it out Comes up empty. That's strike two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. And the pitch. All no. one there. And he deals. Ball. Way to lay off the pitch oh, down. Two strikes. With the tying run on at first, the Rays leading on the solo homer. Right center. That one hops against the fence. Runner around. Yeah, it's 1 1. Such great concentration. You can come through with a good swing, and there he does. Runner on second. In the pen, Maton getting cranked up as well. The winning run for the strikeout. on the ground a second. Toss the first two away. 
Batting fifth. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a still base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in the scoring. Well, got to pause on that thought as that. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. At the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Harold Ramirez. Here comes a pitch. And that one missing low. And it's second. Just off the outside edge. Two and two. It's a good take. The two two now. First in time. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Not a bad outcome in that spot. Now you have a chance to drive in the go-ahead. At the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Richie Palacios. And fouled off. One away with a runner at third here at the top of the second. Slides, but it gets by it. Runner from third comes across. It's 2-1. Comes through with the guy. Nice job. It's the other way on a line. You know, they take so many reps in the cages working the opposite field, and it does One down, runner at first. And now it's Jose Siri. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, one. Right into the plate. Breaking one, one. ball inside. And one and one. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Righty delivers. Ah. Swings through that one above the zone. The zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The one, two. Two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Now up for Tampa Bay, Jose Caballero. Right yeah. through there for a strike.
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. But the RBI single pushes across. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Now into the game, Ahmed Rosario. He's the new third baseman. Well, one run game. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. The pitch. That misses, and that's ball one. In this situation with runner on second, you've got to get him up to third. Think back up the middle or to right field. And that is in for a strike. And the count one and one. And that's in there at the knees. Liner caught it second. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact. Anytime you're... Oh, it's Austin Hayes. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. First base open, one out. Is he going to get a pitch to hit? Strike one. still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Jorge Mateo now. That one left it to left. A Rosarena after it. Makes the grab. Runner takes it. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Jordan Westberg will hit next. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And there's the strike. No ball. A little out front there as he swings through it. The winning run at third. Bottom half of inning number two. Oh. Outside low, and it's one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Swing and a ball to the center field. Makes the grab after one. And that's the inning. So one on one hit. No errors. And a runner left. We play two full. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Top half of the third inning. Here's the catcher, Rene Pinto. Rene Pinto. The pitch. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. There's a ball. Throw to third. Save. Well, sometimes on third base can be tough, especially if that short second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Got a 
great job. And good pace. Hard hit, right side. In time to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now back. Yandy. Yandy Diaz now. Pitch strikeout last time up. Got more of a fight in this one. Ball, Just no. missed. One ball, no strike. Now this is in the air down the line. Santander drifts towards it. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. The throws offline. He's saved. Three, two. They take the lead. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great attack. Got the job done. Wow. And now it's Brandon Lau. He's already homered in this game. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Kicks and fires. Swings. Last one deep to left center. That one's back there. It has the distance. Gone. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 4-2. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel. And he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That's it for Corbin Burns. And as he heads for the break. New arm when now we get back. New arm out of the bullpen. He's in. Randy or Rose. First pitch, and he just misses. Two outs, pieces empty. There's a sinker at the knees for a strike. One one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. Two. That Good misses, down. and that's ball three. Center. And that is that. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We head down to the home half of inning three. It's the race four, and the Orioles two. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Pete Fairbanks. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with a W. The Orioles leadoff hitter, Gunnar Henderson, singled and scored his first time. And the pitch no. just missed. What As else? a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. I say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. High fly ball down the left field line. Back there. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. That's
should put a jolt into this whole crowd. It's 4-4. Four, four. This is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our that thing down the line and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole and every time that happens it just kind of really it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough and now Adley Rutschman just missed nobody on nobody out a pair of runs the last half of the third. Oh, yeah, there's a ball. And a 2 1 on the way. And delivers outside. Anthony Santander up next. The 3 1. Chopped on the ground, but foul. Tied at four. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. Struck out on just three pitches at the time. Right down the shoot. It's 0-1. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. That oh. one's upstairs, ball one. And that's ball one. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Runner at first with no outs here. Oh, and a swing man. and a miss. One away. Well, I've always said it's tough. A elevated fastball you see so well, hard to lay off of. Well, when you're talking about 100 miles per hour, chances of catching up next to none. So, you see that one. hit for Baltimore. Ryan O'Hearn rolled out to second in his first at bat. Some real good life going to the zone on that one. 0-2 now. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game okay. and get the first hitter he Look faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there, can really settle in. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullen. Trying to check his swing. Appeal to third. And he won around. Just enough that time. Kicks and deals. That's the ball. Oh. 
Ball. And a good eye there. Two one. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was sitting off Two speed ball. there. Two strikes. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Oh. Got him swinging. Two runs on one hit. Two run homer on inning number four. And we are tied 4-4. Four -four. It's Ahmed Rosario. Ahmed. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. The pitch. Swing and a miss. No, there's a certain you have to do what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. If he walks him, no big deal. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Man at second. Cuts yes. and misses. It's a strikeout. Great location with that two-strike fastball. I'll tell you what, as a hitter, you're looking to protect the outside part of the plate, stay back on something off speed. So many times, that location with two strikes, you just can't get around on it, and that's a tough one to compete with. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Grounded out his first time. Tap back to the mound. He caught it behind his back. It's there, and that's a great play. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to get the ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Next to hit for the Rays. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And that one fouled off. third two away oh. struck him Jeez. out looking he's in a tough spot had to make a great pitch did it Got the strikeout, gets out. And we're back. Lead Ready off. to go. Bottom four. Here's the designated hit for the Eagles, Ryan Mountcastle. Clevenger back to work right. right through there for a strike. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count. Then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. That hits the dirt. And that is ball. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Not two, even two. close there. Now two and two. Then Hayes waits on. Tied at four. And down on strikes he goes. And one gone in the fourth. Right there. 
there. You have to swing back. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. The next to hit. He doubled home a run at his first A.B. Pickoff moved to second, and he dives back in safely. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. No ball. One strike. And here it comes. Right through there for a strike. And he grounds one back up the middle. Oh, and they get the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop. Gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the team up for sure. He's over one. Fought off foul. And fouled off. Winning run at third, two down. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. On the count, right side, loud. On the run, throw to first. He's out. And the Orioles set down in order. And the Orioles leave still all square at four piece. And welcome to the ballpark. Top five, John Shami with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Tate back to work. Fouled off. He was late. At the belt and fires. A big swing and a miss. Thank you. Man at second. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, clearly just anxious right there. So in an 0-2 count, you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out. Pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Caballero takes a ball. One out. The go-ahead run is in second. And we're at the top of the fifth. Mark. Third down. The runners at the corners and one out. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. They don't score this inning, and there'll be some second guesses for sure. And now the catcher for the Rays, Rene Pinto. First offering misses badly for ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play. Down it away. You might want to 
steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Line drive. And that gets down. The run scores all the way. can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. So the Rays batting board over. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Down the middle for a strike. And it's 0-1. One out and a runner at second. Bounced out to short. Mateo throws the first He's in time. Number eight, second baseman, Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau, next to hit for the Rays. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Here's a swing and a drive. Off the wall. Throws to second. He's in safely at second. And a run comes in to score. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, I mean, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the edge of the last time? 109 in this case. I mean, that's... It's so cool we can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. So, man aboard... Now the left fielder, Randy or Rosarena. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner at second, two out. Next offering upstairs. That one drifts inside. And a four pitch walk. Take your bait. He came apart right there. Guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging his zone. Ahmed Rosario next to hit for the Rays. Out to center. Mullins settles under it. Makes the catch. And that's that. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Rays seven and the O's four. Back now to start the fifth and taking over on the mound, Jason Adams. Small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see. Leading and into off. the box for Four Baltimore, Orioles. Jordan Westberg. Old for one with a fly Jordan. out to center. Westberg. The pitch. Ah. Swing and a miss. Phil the chase no up right there. Just Let's pulled play. the string. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Oh, that's strike. that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Now one inside. It falls in two strikes. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. The hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. And he deals. Oh. That one misses. Ball two. Two balls. Two 
And the righty deals. Check swing. Tried to pull up that first. Held back. Swings through it, and that's a strike. Here's the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. He's already over this one. He's someone that you can describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. This guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Left-hand batter waits. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Trailing by three, last half of inning number five. Got him looking, that's a strike. Just locked him up right there for the second half. That bad, he's probably going to be... In the box now. No balls and a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. It's a hit the count. And a pitch. Ball on. One ball. One strike. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Next Two offering balls. way off the plate. They're down to their two. final strike. Two ball, two strike. One strike away. Pitch oh, misses yeah. there, and the count's full. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run and the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Three, two. Ah. Right through there. Got him. And that'll do it. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Hilton and our entire outstanding crew,